Welcome back, everybody, to Silver Run Force. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to start the process of moving up to and establishing our permanent home base. So I've got these trucks loaded up with some of our equipment, and they're we're using Follow Me, and they're going to follow us up to the new location. And uh, obviously, we'll have to come back and get another another load because I can't take everything all in one shot but I've got the tractor with the forestry mulcher and the winch I've got the skidder I've got the skid steer with the with the stone hydraulic stone breaker and the front loader with the bucket so I figured those are the most important things that we need to start with now I'm going to stop here for a second in the middle of the road and I have come to learn of another collectible which is over here that I didn't know about until I was watching another video so here is a deer the deer collectible you found the deer sculpture just seven more to go all right that adds another 50 grand to our bank account so yeah I've <laughs> I've driven by here so many times now I had no idea that was there uh, but I was watching another uh, youtuber and they found that in their video so uh, if you haven't heard me talk about that before I don't deliberately you know try and find out where they are but if I'm watching somebody else and they happen to find it they happen to find it and I can't unlearn where it is so we just go get it and not worry about it okay cool so let's um, head on down the highway here I actually don't want to get too far ahead of my uh, convoy here and uh, the, the first order of business once we get on site is to build our road because we're going to have to build a road into our property. So we'll work on that. Everybody coming? I'm excited though. This is going to be fun. I've been looking forward to, to doing this here in, in this playthrough. So as you can see in the upper right hand corner, we're sitting at $638,000. So we're doing really well. Uh, as far as money goes. Actually, I need to turn here. I'm not paying attention. We want to go nice and slow across the bridge and make sure we're right going right down the center of it, too. So these dummies don't get into the guardrail. Okay, it looks like they're doing all right. Good. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to drive up kind of to where it starts to flatten out up here a bit. And I'm going to pull off right here with the pickup. And we'll park right here. And I'm going to put this truck on this side of the road. Traffic doesn't come up this road, so I'm not worried about that. In fact, I have traffic turned off anyways. guess I should turn that back on. I turned it off a while ago because uh, they were causing problems, but I didn't mean to keep it off all the time, so traffic is back on. Okay, let's do a game save, too. They won't bother us up here regardless. All righty. Jump in this truck. We're actually not in too bad of a spot right here. Let's just stay right here. Very good. All right. Now we're going to start this adventure with the tractor. Looks like the skidder is trying to slide off the truck there. Fantastic. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to drive. Uh, we got to do a little bit of surveying here, actually. So the, the ridge kind of starts 
I guess back here. So let's just, I'm not going to start building the road yet. Let's just drive. But I'm thinking maybe what we would do is we would drive through here. We can put a bridge down over that creek, so that's not a problem. Yeah, see, I guess the ridge actually comes down further that direction. But the idea is we get up on the top here. Oh, you know what? Actually, I think I'm too far over. I think it's this ridge over here that I wanted to make the road on. Because things weren't quite looking familiar to me. I think we want to make our road on the top of this ridge. Yeah, this looks more familiar. Okay, so the idea then is we... I have to kind of dodge some trees at the moment, but we build the road right along this ridge here back into the property. And we'll stay in between the redwoods. I'd mentioned this before, but I'm going to try not to cut redwoods down if I don't have to. They're not worth cutting down for one thing because they're they're not worth anything in this game. Well, not anything, but the price is, is very low. And then that kind of gets us back into here. So this sort of kind of open area is probably what's going to end up being our yard. And then I was thinking about either building the house right on this point. But as I was thinking about this the other day off camera... It might be better for us to put the house over here because there's a little more room. Um, yeah, mainly because there's a little more room and we still have a spectacular view out that direction on the lake. Okay, so I guess the first order of business then here is let's do a, a quick save. And we first have to purchase this property. So let's go to here and we definitely want 10. That's only going to cost us $78,000. So that's not too much money. Um, okay, so we're going to buy that. And that now becomes our property. Um, 11 is $70,000. So this is the road we came up. I am planning on purchasing this and logging it out. There's quite a bit of timber on there. But we don't need to do that right now. What we do need to do is we need to buy this plot which is very expensive, 171000 And it kind of sucks, too, because um, the invisible wall is right about here. So it's a very expensive property for not really actually a whole lot of timber on it, even, you know, even though it looks large. But we're going to have to do it in order to do what I want to do. So it is what it is. So we're going to buy this property here. Now, I might eventually buy this property here, but the thing about 12 is... This is a very, very steep mountain. Um, it's got a fairly steep slope coming up this side, and then it's got a really steep slope on this side going down to the river. Now, there is timber on it, but it's not a flat piece of land at all. So I think we're going to leave that alone for now. I might end up buying it later. So we're basically going to focus in this area here. So this will be our house. We're going to build it along here. And... We're going to try and come up with some kind of a yard situation where we can put, you know, a shed in, that sort of thing for our, our, our equipment in here. But I'm not planning on turning this into a, a huge sprawling farm like I have on Elm Creek because, you know, space is tight. So this is really more of our home, the place we live and we keep our equipment, but we're not, you know, we're not going to turn it into, like I said, a big, a big place to farm. All right. So. We've done that. We've purchased the two pieces of property. Um, this is so nice up here. So yeah, we don't own this land for now. And again, just to show it to you in case you didn't see that video that we did a long time ago where we did a tour. It's got a, you know, a, a considerable hill on this side. But then on this side, it's like, uh, you know, really drops down 
towards the river. Very steep, you know, com coming down here. So if we ever did buy this and log this land, we would definitely need to use a yarder because it's uh, <laughs> it's way too steep even for a skitter. Um, so we'll see. I might not buy it at all. We might not need to. We'll see. I even considered building the house on top of this hill with the view, but um, I kind of want to be down in the redwoods for, for this feel. So we, that's what we're going to do. All right. Now, next thing now is to decide exactly the get the road going. That's what we got to do. So um, what I'm going to do is turn around back this way. And I basically want this road to go along the ridge. So I think we came out through here. And the ridge kind of comes up this way. So we're going to... we're gonna. Uh, I'm not worried about over here so much, but from here back to the main road, well, the road that we're parked on, um, this is where we're going to start road building. So once again, let's do a, a save... In case I screw something up and um, we will start this guy up and drop it down and start working on our road I'm just gonna clear it right now with this but then I'll come back along later and we'll we'll probably we'll either make it a dirt road or a gravel road we'll see You know, it's probably going to be easier for me just to delete those trees with the chainsaws as opposed to trying to eat them. I know I could do this more easily by just using the landscaping tool and the paint tool, but I like to I like to actually go through and clear it because it just feels more legit. Uh, okay, so we're gonna come up through here. Let's get rid of this tree. The brush will we can remove with the. Uh, the forestry mulcher. Okay. All right, let's move through here. Any stones that will be along the path of the road, like this one here, we're gonna, we'll of course remove with the skid steer. Having trouble getting over the top of it. Oh, for goodness sakes. All right, we're going to have to kind of go around a little bit. I don't want to hit the redwood, though. There we go. This is cool, man. I'm really excited to, to move here onto this property. I pretty much fell in love with it the first time I saw it. And then, like I, I said, for those of you who might be newer to the channel... I don't know, I don't know, 10 episodes maybe back or so, um, we did a tour of almost the entire map, and I came up here and showed everybody and said, yep, this is going to be our future home. All right, now, I'm going to back up here for a moment. Let's turn that off, but let's leave the lights on. That's a dead tree. Um... Let's just delete this little tree. It's not worth messing with. Uh, we're going to delete this dogwood, too. Well, do we have to? Yeah, I think we do, because even though the trunk of the tree is not in the way... Well, maybe it is in the way, actually, because, yeah, we got to come right through here, so it's going to have to go. Sorry, dogwood. There's plenty more around. 
this tree is going to have to go. Um, but we don't necessarily have to cut it yet. Uh, as well as these two dead trees. I, I'm going to cut them down regardless. Well, I'm actually going to... I'm going to cut all of the timber on this property, except for the redwood. I mean, that's the plan, anyway. All right. These dead trees aren't worth a tin can fart, so... <laughs> so we're just going to delete them, too. They're not worth messing with. Trust me. Of course, most of you guys probably know that by now. If I was more legit logging uh, I'd probably handle them but we're building a road now we're not logging so um maybe I will cut this tree um and just we'll just leave it down and then we'll, we can come and get it later you can delimit too while we're at it no no don't do that Didn't quite get on those parts. I think we're good. I'm just going to lumberjack remove this particular stump. Okay. Now, let's get back in. We have another dead tree up ahead that we're going to get rid of. Okay, so, now, I have a decision to make here. Let's get rid of this and this other tree here. Come on, saw. Pick it up. There we go. Now, if we kind of go off to the right and go this way, our road will be, or even this way, I guess, our road will be a little more gradual. It means we're going to have to go further that direction to get up here, but it also means we don't have to pull such a steep hill. So I think that's what we really should do. Okay. So... What we're going to do is we're going to back up and we're just going to kind of turn more this direction. All right, let's do it. I think I think I want to remove these little guys here. More for visibility, I guess, reasons than anything else. Okay. That Ponderosa can stay there for now, but like I said, eventually I'm going to log all of the loggable timber. Uh, okay, so let's just go straight ahead. And then, when we get to this stone, we're just going to kind of... I will remove that stone. It's going to have to go anyways, but... We're just going to kind of curve it down this way. Alright, good. So now we have the path. I'm going what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back through and we're going to widen it.
Okay, I think this redwood's gonna have to go. I mean, we could curve the road around it, but I don't think I want to do that. I think I want this road to stay straight. So, I don't know if my saw can knock this thing down. I guess there's one way to find out, isn't there? It's possible that the mulcher could knock it down too, but... Um, Alright, I want to fell it so it goes that direction. Yeah, kind of that direction. So we want to be right about here, I think. Oh, look at that. I can knock it down. Wow. Okay. That's the lumberjack mod that's probably allowing me to do that. Woohoo! What a monster of a tree, eh? Okay. Um. We'll see if we can grind that with the forestry mulcher. This thing is so big. It's not super tall though, at least. I'm guessing these branches are just too enormous to make disappear. Um, Alright, so let's cut them off. Okay, I think that gets all the branches off of them. Um, I'm just going to get rid of the branches like this because, again, unfortunately this wood is, isn't worth much. It should, it should be. It has what I refer to in games as an artificially imposed mechanic. They have made it so that you can't sell the redwoods for very much money to discourage people from cutting them down. And that's fine and good, but it's not realistic. I mean, can you imagine how much this tree would be worth in real life? If it was a situation where, you know, say you got a permit to cut it down. Um, you know, you could probably get a lot of money for it, I would think. If you did it all legally and all that, you know. Trying to get rid of all that scrap. Okay, I think that gets rid of everything. Let's see if we can get that stump out of there. Where'd that come from? A little piece fell off there. Oh, yep, there you go. Okay, we got rid of it. Um. All right, we could try and let's pull this out of here. I don't know if we can or not. Um, if the tractor can't do it, I'll bet the skitter winch can. Let's raise that up. We'll try it with the tractor first, though. The tree is too heavy, max weight. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can't do it with the tractor. Let's let's see if we can do it with the skitter. Yep, it's too heavy. Okay. Well, actually, can we pick it up with the claw? I don't know about that, but we'll try. Yep, looks that way. Okay. You know what I might do with this is I might just take it right down to the lumber mill because it's just right across the way here. 
we'll just dump it right in the pond and be done with it. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of front end there, there. All right, let me look at the map and see where we are. Yeah, the sawmill's right here. We just have to get to there. So we could try to go cross country, but we might be further ahead to stay on the road just in case this thing gets snagged on something because it is it is heavy. You can tell that the skid steer's having, having some struggles here. All right, here, let's back up. You know why it was easier at first? Because we were pulling it downhill. Yeah, if, the, if this is going to be this much of a hassle, I might end up just cutting it in half. We'll see. I can't even <laughs> can't get around this doggone tree. Okay, hold on. We're going to fudge a little bit here. Okay. All right. Yep, yeah, this is not working. It worked at first because, like I said, we were going downhill, uh, so we had gravity on our side. So let's just cut it, I don't know, maybe right about here. Uh, there we go. <laughs> All right, now let's see if we can haul this thing. We should be able to. It's still heavier No, I'll get out, man. Hope we don't get stuck on the stream. I thought I could go across country now because it's lighter, but it'll run up the stream. There we go. We got it. Okay. If I had a little bit more of a notion about how much this is actually worth, I'd I'd give myself the money for it in the admin menu, but we're not going to get into the habit of cutting redwood, so I'm not going to worry too much about it, I suppose. All right, there it goes. We'll go get the other piece now. Oh, one of you guys were telling me in the comments that... Uh, 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 that the pallet, some of the pallets will fly off the train when it's leaving to Elm Creek. So we should run down there and see if we have any pallets lying around that we would need to, to do something about. Okay, let's go back this way. I'm still just so impressed with what a good job the Giants did with this map, making it look authentic like an actual forest. Best I've seen for sure. As a lot of you guys know, and some of you probably don't, um, you know, there are other forestry maps that are available that you can download, like modded maps. Uh, but everyone that I have seen, and I'm not saying I've seen all of them, mind you, and they're going to get better now that these assets are available, but up until Silver Run came out, you know, they just, they didn't look that good. Some of them are okay, but it, really all it was was a bunch of grass with trees on it, you know, and it didn't have all the other features of a forest, like the rocks and the stumps and the undergrowth and that sort of thing. But, you know, I'm sure that the modders, now that they have these assets to work with, are going to come out with some pretty cool new forestry maps, too. All right. I want to see where we're at. Yeah, it's still just about chocked full. And I've got like three trailers full of wood on the other side here, too, that are just waiting to be dumped in there that we got from the our last property that we logged. 
that was a lucrative property. We, <laughs> we made a lot of money off that property. Yeah, see, they're just sitting there in the IT runner trailers right now. Just waiting to be dumped in. Okay, let's go over here and check the the train tracks and see if I have any pallets that have spilled over. There's our wood chip pile. I heard some somebody say once, I don't remember exactly where I heard it from, that when you throw the little little nubs in, you know, like the scrap wood, that the mill just turns that into chips because you can't really make, you know, planks out of it. I don't know if that's true or not, but it makes sense if it is. Alright, we're just going to park the skitter here for a moment and run over here and see if we have any loose pallets that have fallen off. And thank you too, by the way, to whoever that was that told me in the comments. I don't remember who it was off the top of my head, but I appreciate you mentioning that. Uh, okay, I don't see anything, and this is as far as we can go. So it looks like everything that I have sent has made it through, which is good. But it was definitely worth checking for sure. We'll just have to kind of keep an eye on that. I'm sure the Giants will fix that at some point. They have to. I mean, that's ridiculous, but it looks like we're good to go. Here comes the train. Woo, that thing is moving. Okay, let's get back to our road building. It's going to be pretty tight through here, but I think the redwoods are far enough apart to where we can make it work. Okay, this is where we started. So I think what we're going to do here is... We'll have to have the road kind of slightly curve around through here if we don't want to get rid of those redwoods, which we don't. And then come out into the clearing here. And then we'll probably, as far as the house is concerned, we'll probably come right through here, put a bridge across the creek to get up to where we're going to build the house. So for now, I'm just going to take the road right up to there. All right, fantastic. Now, let's turn this off. I'm just going to park the tractor right over here for now. And let's run back now and get our skid steer so we can get these rocks off the road. We'll have at least two to, two to remove, I think. Okay, so I think we have a rock right down here. Yep, got to get this one out of here. Takes care of the first rock. Okay, let's take the skid steer all the way down to the clearing. Uh, that rock is fine, it's not causing any problems, so we'll leave it there. And we'll just park this guy down here for now. Very good. Now we need to get the front loader with the bucket and pick up the piles of stone. Come on, man. You're having such a hard time picking that up.
Okay, it looks like we got it. All right, now, um, I'm sure we're going to need to remove more stones on this property. So I want to put them in a place where we can get at them later should we decide to, you know, pick them up and, and sell them or whatever. So just trying to decide where the best place to do that's going to be. Why don't we... I, I do, you know, I do want to make sure they're out of the way, though. So let's go across over here. And maybe we'll kind of take them over around up by the this area up here. We're going to probably hit the invisible wall here pretty soon. How far up this way can I go? Oh wow, I can get up in here further than I thought I could. Okay, there's the invisible wall. Okay, so let's just back up a little bit and we'll dump them right here. Good. Oh, invisible wall. Wait, is that or did I hit the tree? Oh, I must have hit the tree. <laughs> How f high up this way can we go? Boink! Alright, that high. That's how high we can go. Okay. So yeah, the house is gonna be... right down here. So this is where we're gonna build the house on this little flat area. Looking out over the lake there. Okay, let's just leave this here. Okay, last thing we're going to do before we wrap up this episode is we're going to we're going to go ahead and uh, quote unquote pave the road. Now, I'm I don't know, man. I don't know if I want to actually do gravel through here. Let's just let's just mess with a couple of possibilities um, aside from gravel. I, just, I have a feeling like gravel's going to kind of ruin the ambiance a little bit. <laughs> so, all right. I'm going to stand over here. See, I, I don't think I can use this texture here because if I could, that would be perfect. I'd just make it look the same as this road. But I don't have those uh, textures to work with. So let's save the game. And then we're going to go into the, the build menu. And go over here. <sighs> okay, so um, let's go to landscaping and painting. So what are our options? We got, this is the gravel. That's grass, which we don't want. This is forest ground. Flagstones, asphalt, animal mud. Uh, and, and sand. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, let's, um, I mean, none of this stuff's really going to look good. Let, let, let's look at the animal mud, but I think it looks like manure. Manure-ish looking. I mean, that would work, maybe? Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, well, let's keep that in mind. Well, let's try, whoops, let's try some other things. I wish I had better lighting in here. Landscaping painting. Let's just try some gravel and see what it looks like. Because the one thing about the gravel on this map is at least it's more kind of a brownish in color instead of all gray like it is on uh, in the normal base game. That's not terrible, but I'm not necessarily convinced that's what we want. Pretty sure we don't want asphalt. No, definitely don't want asphalt. Okay, so animal mud's still a possibility. Uh, what about forest ground? No, that's just, that isn't going to work. That might be okay for like the center of the road if we want it to look like a track. Um. Yeah, we don't want grass. So I think it's really boils down to either gravel or animal mud. Those are really our two best options. I, well, there is sand too. But it looks too much like sand. <laughs> and it looks really good for sand, but that just would make kind of a strange road, I think. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's going to work. Well, here's what we're going to do then. We're going to we're going to do this with animal mud and if I don't like it, I'm going to switch to gravel. But let's try the animal mud first. We'll give we'll give it a try. Cuz it's the closest thing we have to dirt you know that we can use. Um so and what I might do too is I like the idea of, of tracks rather than just a solid road with, you know, some grass and stuff growing in between it. So I think we will kind of follow that setup to some extent anyway. You know, that doesn't look terrible, actually. That doesn't look terrible. We're going to want to kind of flare it out on both sides this way too. Yeah, I, I think I think I'm liking this. I think I'm liking this. Okay, so let's just start doing this. We might do a little bit more with the center area there, too. We'll see. I think I got that maybe a little too wide. Okay, let's kind of cut this more around this way. Now, I want to do, um, here, let's do a save. Yeah, the thing about this is, if I don't look at it too closely, I'm okay with it. <laughs> so, yeah, we just won't look at it too closely. Okay, the road's reasonably level coming up through here, but when it gets up here, then it starts to kind of have a hump on it because of the ridge. So I'm going to see if I can level that out a little bit. All right, let's save right here. And then go back into this menu. We have to be careful, though, because I don't want to overdo this either. Landscaping leveling. Okay, so... What's the... What direction is the square going? Uh... All right, what if we just kind of do that? See, that's ex mm, that's kind of what I wanted to do. It looks like it's got a dip there. It does have a dip there. Can we raise that up just a hair? All 
Uh, yeah, you know why? Because we're better off actually to use the, oh, for goodness sakes, uh, the softening tool through here, not the leveling tool, now that I think about it. Because the leveling tool, what it does is it levels all the ground to the very first place you clicked. And that's actually causing us a little bit of trouble, so soften's going to be a better option here. And it doesn't have to be perfectly level either, but we want it to be, you know, it is a mountain road, but we want it to be reasonably level. What we could maybe do here is just do some squirts with the raising tool to raise this end of it up a bit more. And then again, we'll soften it. Okay, now let's just run the softener along here. Camera's getting caught up in the trees there. That's not too bad, actually. Let's look at it from ground level. We could stand to maybe raise it up a little bit more off through, right in through here, I think. But so far, it's looking pretty good. Let's do another save. Okay, so what we want to do is get out of the trees. Landscape Sculpting Rays. Especially right in that spot. Okay, now let's check it out. That's pretty good. For a mountain road, I'll take it. Okay, let's keep working now with the animal mud. Okay, not bad you guys, not bad at all. Let's soften this little hump right here. We might be transforming this whole entire clearing though anyway, so we don't need to get too terribly particular about this right here. But that's turned out pretty good actually. Maybe what we can do is go back to painting and forest ground and just kind of make that a little bit larger. Paint some of that back in. That looks okay over there. That looks pretty good. Okay, I'm uh, I'm liking this. I'm a liking this. I think it's gonna work. I'm glad I'm glad I decided to go with the animal mud instead of the the gravel because I think it it just works better. Could probably stand to maybe soften this a little here because it's leaning down. Or the thing though about that is if I dip the dirt down too far from here, then that tree might end up sticking out. So it might be better if we raise the corner around through here. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave it the way that it is. 
for now, and then we can always change it later if we need to. Let's go jump in the pickup and, and just drive down down the road in the truck and see how it feels. We have to test it out now. It looks pretty good on foot. I could even put some, t you know, little tufts of grass here and there along in the middle, like it is down there. But I don't know. Let's just let's just keep it the way it is for the moment and see how we feel about it. Taking the road to our new home. Home in the woods. Oh, that <laughs> that tree reappeared, but it's not actually there. It's a ghost tree. Getting through here with the long trailer is going to be interesting. We'll keep the redwoods there for now, but if that causes us a major problem... We might need to get rid of one or both of these trees. We'll see how things go. But yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, you guys. Well, we're going to wrap up the episode here. Uh, we have obviously have a ton more work to do up here, but we got the road in, uh, which was my main goal anyways for this episode. And so what will happen, uh, what the plan is for the next episode is we will start preparing the area up by where the, where the uh, loader is for the house and get the house in um, and then go from there. So that is the plan for the next episode. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode. Say goodbye, OG. Woo, that horn's loud. <laughs>